Subaru's rugged 15 crossover returns for 2018 with plenty of promise. Built on all new Subaru global platform underpinnings, it comes packed with safety technology and a 5-star Euro and cap rating that ranks it, in terms of passenger protection, top of the compact family car class. It also retains core USPs of its predecessor including proper permanent all-wheel drive and 220mm ground clearance, ensuring it remains a hardier option than segment alternatives like the C-Tatica and Nissan Qashqai. But the new car has lost a diesel option and so comes available exclusively with petrol power and a CVT gearbox which is quite the contrast to the class norm for vast powertrain lineups and something that you might expect to hamper its chances of making a mark in such a congested segment. The thing is, Subaru is not concerned with taking on mainstream models such as the Aitica, but rather, more interested in growing its faithful customer base so that it achieves a targeted 3,500 sales overall in 2018. It expects the 15 to account for about a third of that, so the real question is, will it be able to draw in new buyers, or is it destined to remain a car for Subaru's loyal but small customer base? There's no denying the 15 looks more purposeful than conventional compact SUVs thanks to the way it appears to be standing on its tippy toes. The car's 18 inches wheels are surrounded by thick arch gaps and its underside clears the ground with an extra 38 mm compared to the C-Tatica. But the car's nose is longer and sleeker than most off-roaders, thanks in part to the low-set boxer engine beneath it so it doesn't look cumbersome. Slip inside and the car trades the exterior's hardy theme for a more premium look. The new 15S dashboard and center console feature a much cleaner, more modern design than the old car, with a standard fit 8.0 inches infotainment system featuring Apple CarPlay and Android Auto taking center stage. The layout remains functional with big buttons, but there's clearly been a concerted effort to boost the car's design appeal here. Our car comes with the 2.0-litre flat 4 Subaru expects to be the car's best-selling powertrain, but a smaller 1.6-litre boxer is also available. The 1.6-litre engine is new, while the 2.0-litre is a heavily reworked version of the previous 15S unit. On the move, the engine is noticeably smoother and quieter, and it also comes with stronger mid-range grunt to prevent the Lineatronic CVT gearbox, which is the only one of its kind adapted for an all-wheel drive car, by the way, from demanding too many revs. But with 145 pounds-feet and 154 bhp on offer, powering hard for an overtake or to enter a motorway will still send the engine rev skywards. Turbocharged rivals pack a fair but more mid-range punch. The Lineatronic box has been tuned with steps to simulate seven gear changes, but it's still very obviously a continuous transmission and therefore best left to its own devices, rather than being operated with the paddle shift levers on the steering wheel. Despite the car's high set stance, Clever packaging in the car's new underpinnings and the low placement of its boxer engine mean center of gravity is low. As such, the car steers and pitches like a car that's set much closer to the tarmac, while riding well over ridged and cracked country roads. Its steering is void of feel but nicely weighted, making the car feel secure and confident on sodden country passes, where XVs are likely to spend much of their time. However, the 18 inches wheels fitted as standard on this model create a substantial amount of road noise that penetrates into the cabin. On the black stuff, the 15 is good, but not excellent. 